Hey guys, this is a tutorial on making Gus the Gingerbread Man. This is a remake of a couple old tutorials um, because Blender's updated so much that those tutorials don't really help at all. So, to start out with, I'm going to press 1 on my number pad. If you don't have one of those, if you're on a laptop, um, you can go up here and go to User Preferences and then select Input and then press Emulate Number Pad and then the numbers above your keyboard will emulate the number pad. So 1 is front view, 3 is side, 7 is top, and 0 is camera. So now we're going to start off press 1. Right click your object to select it. Tab into edit mode. This is where you can edit each individual vertice. Press A to select them. And you can also press A to unselect everything. So press A to select them all. W to subdivide. This is going to cut everything all in half. Now to start out with, Blender is going to have this icon right here uh, selected and this means we can't see through the cube and if I unselect that I can see the vertices on the other side. So this is useful sometimes and other times not. For now it's useful. So press 1 again, press B, box select every all this one side, just take one box all over it all, Press X and vertices. Now how I've been moving around in the 3D space is by middle clicking and just holding and dragging. Now press 1 and now we're going to give him some arms and legs. We're actually going to mirror him once we have this done to make it easier for ourselves. So press B. Make sure you have this unselected otherwise you're not going to get these two. This is going to happen. So you didn't get those two. So we want those. Press E to extrude and click to show that you're done. Left click. So now we're going to do the same for the legs. E, click. So now we have half of a gingerbread man. And instead of subdividing the legs, I'm going to cut them right in the middle. So I'm going to press Control and R. And I'm going to get this little loop cut thing where I can choose where I want to cut it, but I'm going to right click so it goes to the exact middle. This might not be the most efficient way to do it, but I'm just teaching you guys things. So, Go back into front view. And now, um, you might have noticed if you've left click around, there's this uh, 3D cursor that shows up. And this lets us uh, do different things like uh, mirror over it, size, add objects. So what we want to do is go into front view and press Shift C, and that'll put... Actually, That'll put the uh, cursor at the very, very center of our screen, and then press Control um, Decimal Point or whatever it is, period, on the number pad. And if you can't do that, you can press 1 and hold Shift and middle click and move around like this till you get it in the front of your screen. Now that we have that in the central point, we're going to mirror this whole object over that. So press A. To select everything, bounding box, actually 3D cursor, and this lets us rotate around the 3D cursor. R is rotate, G is grab and move, and S is for size. So normally, all these things are going to rotate around the average of where these points are in a 3D space, which is right there. But what we want is for it to go over size or mirror right over the 3D cursor. So Shift D to copy, right click so you can have the unselected, Control M, X. And that's going to mirror it over the X axis. Press Enter. So now we have a gingerbread man. Almost. So, the problem with this is that we have actually two separate vertices that aren't combined. You see all these vertices are combined, and we can move them and nothing will come apart. If I select that by pressing L, L, um, it won't select everything. L normally selects the whole object, but if these points are right here aren't connected, that's not going to happen. So we need to select all the objects by pressing A twice, W, and then remove doubles. This is going to make it so the points join. Next we're going to add the head, and since the 3D cursor is already at the center, and if it isn't, press Shift C, Control Decimal, Shift A to add, and it's going to add a cube. Z, uh, G, 
is move and then pressing Z will lock it on the Z axis so you can move it up to about here and now comes the magic make sure to be in edit mode the whole time you're doing that because you can have different objects with different vertices in them I'll get to that in just a little bit now comes the magic go over here to the little wrench and add subdivision surface this makes everything smooth and look cool so now I'm gonna select I'm still in object mode you press tab to go into edit mode tab to get out of edit mode into object mode I'm gonna select the lamp this is what this is press G and move it over here in front of the gingerbread man so we can take a picture of it with uh, the camera which is called rendering so if you press 0 on the number pad you'll go into the camera view and press render you'll get a gingerbread man press escape to get out of this screen and now we're gonna press S and Y pressing S scales it and pressing Y locks it on the S or the uh, Y axis and now we have a skinny gingerbread man that doesn't have a texture so now we go over here I can just make this bigger Go over here and under this color select it and go down to about anywhere in here and that works now when rendering uh, hold up I'll explain this right after I do this okay so I'm gonna press smooth here and if you see this little cut when we mirrored it we actually flipped the vertices all these planes inside out from this side to this side when rendering the computer takes one side is invisible and the other side of a plane as the thing that can be rendered and what's going to happen is you're going to see the outside of this side and you're going to see through this layer and see the background or you're going to see the uh, back side of it it looks actually I don't know yeah so now we're going to press tab go into edit mode select everything with A and then we're going to press control N and that's going to move all the vertices to the right sides. <clears throat> so now that we have a gingerbread man, we're going to give him some eyes and rend actually we're going to render him first just to show you what happened. Yay! Okay, so holding shift and middle click I can move around and get back to where I want the uh, gingerbread man to be in my uh, 3D view. <clears throat> so wherever this 3D cursor is, is where I'm going to add an object. And I'm in object mode again. You can also switch between object mode and edit mode with this little tab at, or menu here. I press Shift A to add an object. We're going to add an icosphere and give it two subdivisions over here. That's good. New texture, make it black, and turn the specularity way up. Now we're going to go into edit mode by pressing Tab. We're going under here Tab or, or uh, edit mode S scales it down and then we're going to go out of edit mode and move it by clicking and dragging on this little blue arrow and now you can't see it right now so there's a couple different modes you can view your mesh with and one is wireframe and you can do that by pressing Z Z switches between wireframe and uh, whatever this is object mode wireframe and solid texture so I'm going to keep moving that up and I'm going to go back into your uh, bounding box so now I'm going to go move that forward so I can see it by clicking and dragging. That's also another way of moving it. You can also press G and move it, but it's just easier that way. So edit mode, move the eye over, and if you notice, this little point stayed here. That's important because you can also mirror a different way, an easier way over that, by going into the modifiers and pressing mirror. Now it does whatever I want it to do. So now that we have that working, we can go back over here and press Shift D on our selected object to copy it, size it down with S, and Shift D again, and we have a smile. I'm going to render it, and we forgot to set it smooth, smooth, and then I'm going to actually give it multi-resolution, actually not multi-resolution, I want subdivision surface, and I'm going to size that all on the Y axis to make it a little skinnier, and there we have a gingerbread man. Next, I'm going to animate it really quick and possibly confuse you guys. So press Shift A while the cent uh, the 3D cursor is in the center by pressing or Shift A and then Bone, and it's going to add right where you have the 3D cursor. So we're going to move that down, and then I'm going to do a little cheat here. 
so you can see it no matter where it is by pressing x-ray that means you can see it inside of whatever it is even though you shouldn't be able to so I'm going to go into edit mode just like I did with the object I'm going to select this top point press G and Z and move it all the way up select the whole bone press W subdivide right click this point move it up a little bit and then I'm going to select this bone and press shift D this copies it I'm just going to move it right over here and do the same thing for the legs and now just like before we can copy this over the center point by going here and going 3D cursor shift D control M X now we have an armature that doesn't really do anything yet and we're going to turn that back to bounding box so we need to have everything in object mode and we're going to select the uh, this mesh first with the right click button and then we're going to select the armatures by holding shift and then clicking the armatures this is going to have a darker uh, orange and then this is going to be a lighter orange we're going to press control P and go down to automatic weights now that's going to automatically um, make it so it works <laughs> so now we have a moving arm and moving other arm and how I did that was I selected the bones and went into pose mode by pressing control tab so now you have bones that you can use and animate so I'm gonna press control and over switching interfaces trying to find the animation there we go so now I'm just gonna make a quick walk cycle I'm gonna rotate press I to lock scale or lock rotate scale and I'm gonna move the other one out I and then I'm gonna move 10 frames ahead by pressing up and each one of these is recorded on a dope sheet over here you can scroll in and middle click to move around but I'm gonna press up so I can go 10 frames which it doesn't want to really go 10 frames I'm just gonna click over 11 or right 11, 10 times and do the opposite I that's five And now we have, if we press Alt A, a really, really odd gingerbread man. So I'm going to press. I'm just going to come over here and select our first frame, which is this. B, select them all. Shift D to copy them again, and put them over there. And then that's about 20. So I'm going to put the ending frame on 23. And now if I press Alt A, it should animate. Hold up, give it a second here. And now he's walking. There you go and then you can include arms and all kinds of other stuff and move them around like that and in between each one of those frames it just doesn't auto transition so you don't have to do all the work of making the in between frames so comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching if you have any uh, suggestions just let me know